What's one of the fastest ways to get insight into a bounty program's assets? Let's find out. Okay, so as you've seen from the title of this video, we're gonna do it in two steps, using very few tools and a simple bash script. The tools we're gonna use are Subfinder, Nuclei, and Nuclei Templates by the team at Project Discovery, and Filter Resolve by Tom Hudson. You'll find links to all of them below. I'm not gonna show you how to set them up. I assume you're not a beginner and you've already figured it out. The basic idea here is to run Subfinder to discover subdomains. Subfinder is uh, very fast and it's highly configurable, meaning that you can make it faster or more thorough depending on the different sources and ways you have it find the subdomains you're looking for. After Subfinder, you run Filter Resolve to save the domains that are up and running. Then in step two, you run Nuclei recursively to discover potential vulnerabilities and bugs. Okay, now a little bit more in depth. Step one, Subfinder on your chosen domain, pipe that to Filter Resolved, have your results uh, displayed in the output and also save the, to a text file. Step two, Run a simple bash script on the resolved ones. The bash script uh, reads the file from input, in this case argument 1 in the terminal, sorts for unique results, now this may not be really necessary, and then pipes the results to Nuclei with uh, 200 concurrent threads and a path to Nuclei templates folder. There are pluses and minuses to this strategy. The very big minus is that this is script kitty prone and if you're uh, running this on public programs that everybody hacks on, it's extremely likely your reports will be duplicates because everybody is doing this. It requires very little technical knowledge. On the other hand, this can be a door opener, can save you time and can find quick vulnerabilities if you're doing security research on external programs that not many researchers know of or if you're doing on private programs with uh, a few researchers. Still, this shouldn't be an end-all be-all, but a quick start. Take it as a way to increase the attack surface for further manual testing, which more often than not yields good results. Level up your skills in bug bounty hunting and penetration testing with my course Recon in Cybersecurity and master the fascinating world of reconnaissance. Link below.